Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our Survivor 45 Episode 7 Reaction and Review. I'm in a bad place. I'm not doing well. I'm salty. I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm not even playing. Caleb, my, my guy. Oh, my dude. Oh, I know. I Everybody loves Caleb. What's not to love? Except here we are. He is gone. Kutura. Why? Why did you decide to do this? Is it because Jeff like decided to point you at you during tribal and be like, so did Caleb come and talk to you during this time? I'm just like, Jeff, what are you doing? Like, oh my goodness. If she was going to flip her vote, that was the moment where she was like, cool. I have a couple choices here. I have to say that he's come and talk to me. And then either I can continue on where I was maybe thinking about voting for Julie, or now I can just vote Caleb out and be like, look, guys, yeah, he came to me, but I was with you. See, see? And that is where we are. I'm mad at everybody, except for Caleb. Caleb, I'm not mad at you. Jake, I'm not mad at you either. You, you tried. I'm mad at Jeff because I'm mad about this stupid, oh, we're going to split up the tribes again. Like, this is what happened to Matt. Last time too, in the in the Matt Franny relationship, the rare the rare showmance that everyone can like ended up breaking apart in the game. Yeah, listen, if you want there to be tribes, then just have there be tribes. Stop <laughs> merging everybody and then being like, we're just gonna split yeah. you off into teams. Teams, you're splitting them off into tribes. Just stop it. Yeah, I hate that twist. I don't like it. I. I hate the decisions that both groups ended up making at Tribal Counts. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy. Like, if you guys remember, I've said some nice things about this season. I've said some nice things about some of the twists. But this episode, what a just a big, like, all over the place. It is just, it is just disgusting. I am Bruce disgusting. is still there, and I'm all right with that. Bruce, you can go too. I <laughs> listen. He's not playing the best game, but like you know, he's my Sorry. he's my pick. I'm a little bit aggressive right now, Bruce. I don't actually. Bruce has done nothing to you. No, you didn't. He, he did not vote out Caleb. Okay, and that... but he wasn't going to work with him either. Yeah, so I was about to say, Bruce, you're guilty by association. Okay, well, now that I have trashed the majority of the people on the show. Hit that subscribe button so you can see more moving forward. By this time next week, I'll be better. I'll be... I'll, Will you? Maybe. I, I might be over this. I may not because they'll be bringing in Caleb on the jury every week. So I'm going to have to relive this. But yeah. No, thank you guys for your support. It helps us so, so much when you do hit that subscribe button. You know, we're going to be here throughout the rest of Survivor 45. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you so much to everybody who has hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's... I'm already so heated about the Caleb thing. We might as well just stay here. Okay. Here's here's the central question. We have a clear group of three. It's technically four if we include Drew, but Drew's not here. So we have Julie, D, Austin. D is immune. You can't get rid of D. You know, her ma the magical toe edit suddenly makes a whole lot more sense <laughs> now that we've seen that challenge. But okay. So Julie interesting target i i understand the idea behind targeting her yes I, I understand the idea behind okay let's make it a three three vote i love that weird alternate universe reenactment that we got of tribal council during like <laughs> i know that that's a, okay you okay here's my praise for survivor that was fun there's something you guys don't do very often that i appreciated no that was a good one survivor editors you guys did it I will admit, though, that the moment I saw that play out, I just put my heart hat on right now. <laughs> There's no way they're giving us this, and this is actually going to end up working. Wouldn't it be so good, though? It would have. And it could have. I mean, we haven't seen anything past this episode, so we don't know. You know, did Katura decide earlier she wasn't going to actually do this? Because, I mean, like, Jake felt pretty confident that this was happening. And I felt like... It, it might be happening. I mean, when he told her about the the rings, the yeah. lie, of course she was like, okay, now I don't feel that great. Like, 
Caleb's told me about Bruce's idol. Now yeah. Jake has come and told me about it too, but he was part of the lie. So like now I don't feel that great about it. I wasn't a hundred percent sure that she was sold, but the fact that Jake put his vote out there, he must have felt like she really reassured him. Yeah. That's why when Jeff asked that question to her, where it was, first he was talking to Caleb, hey, you know, how was it after? You know, you're talking to people, you're fixing things. Yeah, 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 I'm fixing things. They talk to you, Katura. Why? Why are you asking her that? Why are you singling her out? Do you want Caleb to go? Because Jeff, now we have a problem. I'm already, I'm already mad enough at Jeff in the first place, and now, now Jeff, of course, your line of questioning at Tribal makes me upset. Like I, I feel like what probably happened here is either she was swayed at Tribal, or it's a situation where. She already felt betrayed on some level by Jake and Caleb because in keeping that information from her, she already realized, okay, I, I can't trust these two. Over, there's some other people in the game that I haven't been able to feel out yet. Maybe I can find some element of trust there. That's where I can say that I understand the decision that Katura made, even taking my own irrational emotion out of the equation. I still think she made... A mistake and this is why it is a big risk to go in on a 3-3 tie i get that nobody wants to draw <laughs> rocks there's always there's always a big element of danger but you know those three people that were on reba together are really really close and you also know that bruce is probably going to bruce it up at some point and become a target <laughs> a little bit later on down the line so if you go with Jake and with Caleb, you're you're gonna have a lot of shields to sort of protect you if other people are feeling hurt or betrayed. Like Bruce is probably going to be voted out of the game for you. I feel like you. How dare I know you? I'm, I know I'm just you're just piling on Bruce. How Bruce, dare you? Bruce is catching unlimited strength here in my <laughs> argument, but I just I just feel like you would have been able to rebuild something, and I think at the end of the day. Jake and Caleb and these other people, they were just put in a really hard position when Bruce found that idol because Bruce had an idol. He had power. He didn't want Katura to know a lot of stuff. It's not great to go in front, like, directly behind somebody who just found an idol. And it's like, this other person just found an idol. Yeah. And I think if Jake had explained it a bit better, then he might have been able to sway her. I think she just made a mistake because it's very obvious that Julie and D are a duo and they are extremely tight. So if you can't get D, you need to get Julie out of there. Like D has now made herself like a huge target. Like this yep. was a huge win for her that it's just, I would be looking at her being like, Oh, she could be a problem. Like I may not be able to beat her at the end, but I can get rid of some of the people who are helping her. Absolutely. I can weaken her that way. And that's yep. the way to go about it. You know, Katura was could have just gone with the vote then. I mean, everybody's gonna come back together. She would if she doesn't have to keep working with Jake after that. She can find other ways to move in with other people. I just think she, yeah, she had so many other options moving forward, and I think this is an option that puts her in a worse place. It's a safe move, like it's a move that ensures that nothing crazy happens with tiebreakers, any of that other stuff. I, I that's why I understand it, but I just don't think. If you want to win the game, you got to go hardcore. And this is why, Jake, I have an announcement for you mm -hmm. nine minutes into this video. Mm -hmm. Because Caleb was tragically taken down in this game before oh his goodness. time. <laughs> you, are my, you, you are my new champion, Jake. I, I really like you. You are fun. You have great confessionals. I love how just willing to play you are. You were really willing to go with this plan, to stick your neck out there. You are not willing to settle for, you know, 11th place, 10th place. Like you're playing to win. I appreciate that. Now, here's no, the I, I appreciate that yeah. too. I mean, that whole sort of monologue where it was just like, oh, we've got, you know, we've got Jake. He'll just do whatever we say to have him in confessional being like, I'm not here to do what everybody yeah. says. I'm going to try to make another move. And this move makes sense. We have to split up Julian D. And he was right. Here's the one problem with being a Jake fan, and, I, and I'm not even saying this in jest, it's just like the man has had two near medical emergencies already this I season, know. and I'm just, I worry every time I watch him that something else is going to happen, and because I 
like Jake so much and, you know, I will be openly rooting for him for the foreseeable future in these videos. It is a very unhealthy place for me to be. Obviously, he's fine in the real world. I don't have to worry about that, but I'm still worried in the game. Listen, I'm rooting for Bruce and he's playing like a really bad game right now. <laughs> like so many, he's so like defensive against like so many people. He's holding grudges with all these people. He's just, he's... He's not playing a great game, but you know what, Bruce? I'm here until the wheels <laughs> fall off with you. So you keep going. He is safe for another week. He didn't have to use his idol. I thought they were going to flush yeah. that idol. He played that really well where he was kind of like, eh, maybe I'll just use it tonight, which is the right thing to say because it got people to be like, eh, maybe we'll back off on Bruce. Maybe now's not the time for Bruce. And it worked. You go, Bruce. Okay, see, the wheels aren't coming off for Bruce, but no. I feel like one of the tires is starting to get a little bit flat. The car still, listen, though. Oh, my here's... goodness. Stop railing on my Bruce. Okay, here's the thing that we did, Bruce. This is the one thing you can I, I can easily say in defense of, of, of your guy, Bruce, and all the Bruce fans out there. During... It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, listen, I'm sure Bruce had some other big fail. Let us know sure in the comments does. if you are Team Bruce uh -oh. with Jess. I better put on my hard hat here. I'm going to be by myself. I already have my on after oh, everything I said earlier. Okay, now this, here's what I'll say with Bruce. For a good chunk of Tony's first season of Survivor, I thought Tony was going to be voted out at almost tri every tribal council because I sat here being like, Tony is playing the most reckless game possible. Yes. What he's doing here looks absolutely terrible. He's so chaotic. It seems like he is, you know, either his ego is off the charts or he's just like making everybody so paranoid and they just can't stand some of the moves that they're making. I'm not saying Bruce is like on a Tony level of playing Survivor right now, but I'm you just- You don't know yet. I don't know yet. That's the crazy thing. There is that level of, okay, Bruce does have an idol. And yes, Bruce is driving some people crazy, but Tony drove plenty of people crazy. Yes, he did. So Bruce does still have a shot. I think what, what, this is the biggest thing your guy Bruce needs more than anything else. Like, you know, Tony had his woo. Bruce needs- his like one person who he can just sort of take through the game and give advice to and make sure that person basically does every single thing that he says. That's what he needs. Yeah, he really needs that. But instead, he's got Kelly who's just like, oh, my God, my wagon <laughs> is hitched to Bruce. Yeah. And she can't get any sort of control over him. He does need that person. And I think for a while he thought maybe Caleb could be that person, but it yeah. just it didn't work out. Biggest thing Bruce needs, and because I think Bruce, he he's a smart guy. Like mm -hmm. he's he's gonna do, I think, reasonably well in some of the challenges coming up. Obviously, the idol is a big help. He's perceptive. I think he does need to be, and you just alluded to it, just a little bit more flexible. You know, people burn people all the time in Survivor. Yes, it happens, and you know, but you have to be willing to shake things up every single time. Like that is the big lesson from Tony other than just like you need to find a woo but that's the that's the thing Tony mastered is that Tony didn't care about anything any tribal you Bruce you got to just adapt go with the flow take some of Sifu's personality and just like you know do some tai chi and just sort of chill out it was interesting to hear you know the conversation about like nobody wants to take Bruce to the end it's kind of like well, if he's really chaotic like this, like, yeah. and you think not a lot of people like him, which I don't think is the case, but if that's what you think that, you know, oh, he's too chaotic, he's playing a terrible game, nobody really likes him, then why wouldn't you want to take Bruce to the end? And I'm not saying that I think any of those things because I don't, but if that's how you feel about him, then that would make sense to take him to the end if you think he can't win. Like, <laughs> why wouldn't you take him to the end? It's really one of those sort of things that I, people have to figure out how to separate their emotions from what's actually going on in the game. Because if yes. people if people can't stand Bruce, then, you know, I think some of this is probably <laughs> editing the whole Bruce is driving us crazy all the time. But I agree. If Bruce really is just the thorn in the side of everybody, nobody's going to want to give him the money at the end of the game. They're just going to be so over him. Correct. So you ride to the end with Bruce. Yeah. Here's Bruce, Bruce, Br Bruce, 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 oh. question mark. Hey. <laughs> I listen, I, I I like Bruce because, you know, I want I want your favorite to succeed. I want Bruce to do well and also Bruce is good television. I will say yes, that. Yes, he is. I want big personalities to yep. stick around and that's 
why I'm also very salty about this this little group here because I I really like Sifu. Sifu, I don't know if he really ever fully understood what was going on on any of the tribes. He just seemed to be on the outside of every single alliance possible. I wanted to like Sifu, but I felt like I never really got to know him. There's a couple of people on this season and I've got my hard hat on already okay, for right. Bruce, but it's like, there's a couple people on this season where I feel like they're just playing up their normal personality where I think Sifu is like this, but I think because he's on TV, he's really like this. The same with Kendra. I think she's wacky, but I think the producers are like extra wacky. <laughs> like, I think that that's what's happening, that they're, you know, they're taking their normal personalities and making them a hundred. So it's kind of like, did I ever really know you, Sifu? I feel like I didn't. Like, he didn't really have enough screen time. I feel like things were just getting played up a little bit too much that I'm just like, I just don't feel like I had a connection with him. I'm just so confused about the edit that Sifu got at the end of the day because everybody's like, we need to get rid of Sifu. He's this big player. He's got an idol. And Sifu's just like over here doing like Tai Chi and like saying quotes and it's just like yeah. waxing philosophical. He. He's just, he's an interesting guy. And to me, I don't want to get rid of somebody who is just like, yeah, he's a little bit unpredictable. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. But what else, what, what is there to be afraid of if he's not really aligned with anybody? This, this is my big thing with this group and why this group is just absolutely driving me crazy. They should have kept Bruce. I'm not mad about anything with Bruce. That's fine. You guys want to, you know, hit your wagon to Bruce for a little while longer. Bruce. Bruce okay. Bruce, you you Bruce, can Bruce, just get Bruce. Through the Bruce dance <laughs> for a little while longer. I'm, I'm fine with all of this. He is a shield. Like, it's a really good argument. Why are you people not going after Drew? This is the part of this that makes zero sense Crazy. to me. Crazy. Especially when he was just like, <laughs> uh-oh. We have to go to this other beach. I left my bag back at the camp. I'm just like, oh my goodness. This happens every season. Like everybody just bring your stuff with you. Yeah. I would absolutely, I'd be traveling with my bag all over the place. Yeah. Do you have an idol in your bag? Is that why you're doing it? Maybe, but maybe not. Or maybe I just want my stuff because if I end up on another beach, I don't have my socks anymore. Like, stop it. You're doing your survivor <laughs> strategy is how you will never say in Settlers of Catan what resources you actually have. No, I won't. I'll be like, I don't have sheep for trade. And you want to know why? <laughs> because I was playing Settlers of Catan with Matt and he was asking me, oh, you have any, you have any sheep? Oh, yeah, you know, I got a couple sheep, uh, whatever. But, you know, yeah, I'm not going to trade them right now. What happens? He plays a Monopoly card on me and is like, can I have all the sheep? Or was it Year of Plenty or whatever it was? And you took all my sheep. You, you know play what? to win the game. No. You now can... I don't have any sheep for trade. This is why me and Jake are on the same page here. You know, we, we go for it. We're going for the jugular. You go to win. And this is why not getting rid of Bruce. I mean, not getting rid of Bruce. Bruce is fine. I'm, I've got too caught up on Bruce now. Why not getting rid of Drew is such a just insane decision. Like, yes. Look at this man. This man is clearly a Survivor super fan. He's obviously very smart. His lanky self did pretty well in that immunity challenge, mm -hmm. all things considered. Yeah, he did. You can probably, at the very least, glean that he's close to those other people on Reba yes. on the other side. You need to eliminate some Reba numbers. Yes. I don't understand why this wasn't even a consideration. We didn't get that much discussion. It didn't seem like Drew was ever that worried about having to play his peace out at advantage that he didn't even have. <laughs> but like, even if he, if, even if he did have it, my point is just that I don't think he would have used it either anyway, because it just seems like nobody's really talking about this. Why are you people in the game? And yes, it's easy for us to say this on the outside, but why are you people in the game? So afraid of this like Reba cluster that you don't want to make a move against them these four people are still together and there are yep. 10 players left now. Yeah. It's not great. Like it <laughs> it's, it's getting too deep in the game that you're not really going to be able to do anything about it. Yeah. And Emily has been close to drew and Austin. Yes. She goes with them. Then that's just like a five person group. And that is why Emily, I, I for a little while there, I entertained rooting for you potentially after Caleb left, but Jake, Jake just won me over too much. <laughs> so I'm sorry. You're now relegated to second place on my rooting list. 
You are the driving force now, Emily. You must be the catalyst. You must realize how much power they have. I just, listen, really more than anything else, I just want this to be a chaotic, interesting season the rest of the way. I don't want to see a group just be slowly picked off. Yeah, this is starting to feel like a steamroll, especially if they can continue to keep Emily. And I mean, she's at a point right now, like moving into the next episode or maybe even the next episode. She, like the episode after, she needs to move away from them or she's just going to place fifth. Yeah, I we need to see some sort of counter alliance form and maybe, maybe it will. Here's just why, you know, I think I've already put the hard hat on three times. I'm just going to continue to have it on. This Bellow group is just so unbelievably dysfunctional that I'm just sitting here. It's like, okay, so my hope of keeping a steamroll from happening right now is dependent on Bruce and Kendra getting along for longer than just a few seconds for Katura to work with Bruce again after they have been oh, like, oh, this, none my of this guy is Bruce is just not working with people. The Bruce, this is the only hope now. It's just everybody just put your votes on Bruce. Bruce, play your idol. Get somebody out on Reba, and then maybe we have a game again. Oh, my goodness. No, nobody put your votes okay, on but Bruce. But he's playing the idol. He'll be fine. He can go find another idol. No, they, people just need to get together and stop all their nonsense and start getting out some Reba people like they have to. I am, I am petrified of where this season is going now. Well... We'll see if these crazy kids can find a way to make it work in this crazy world. But, you know, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Maybe there will be happier times moving forward. We'll see what the birth or adventures of Bruce end up being on Survivor 45. If you want more coverage, check out our Big Brother 25 live feed update, the finale for that. Tomorrow night, you can see our new update here on the screen. And thank you to our patrons for your support. We really Thank appreciate you. that. We'll see you guys here next time.